G'day, we will train here with another another video. Now today we're having a look at this module we're going to build that has the uh, viaduct kit that we built on a previous video, and we fitted that to this module now. So now we're um, going to do the landscaping or the, the the base of the landscaping. Anyway, so um, so if you have a look at the profile that we've got there, we're going to sort of have a like a valley type profile on our um, landscaping like a little valley like hills coming down so um, to do that basically we're going to need some uh, plaster cloth I've got a couple of types here there's there's that one there we all know that brand and uh, this other one I found in my local like two dollar shop if you like they had plenty of that in stock so and I, and I think in terms of um, if you compare size to size the equivalent that the, the one I got from two dollar shops a bit cheaper but I haven't used that one before I'll just end up using the um, the uh, Woodland Scenics ones because I've got that um, handy okay so the other thing we're gonna need is some newspaper so or if you haven't got newspaper just get some paper or paper towel or whatever you've got scrap paper and basically all we need to do is to form the hills is uh, scrunch it up like this. So we just um, grab a bit, put it down there. Now um, some of them will tend to spring around a bit so you can just use a bit of masking tape or something to hold it down in place if it doesn't want to sit where it wants to sit. So we basically just repeat that and just randomly place them to what you think will be good. In my experience you normally you can't go wrong it's, it's all random so it usually ends up looking pretty good whatever you end up doing so yeah we'll just keep doing that and keep repeating and then once we've taped that down then we'll go and uh, put the plaster cloth down now another thing to note here is I sprayed the viaduct kit with a clear matte finish so that if we do splash any plaster or water on it it won't soak in and it'll be easier to clean anything off the sides so if you do that to the, if you're using the card kit yeah I suggest you do that so the next step is to get our plaster cloth we have a tub of water there on the side a pair of scissors and we just cut pieces off like I just end up doing half the module at a time rather than go all the way across because then you can shape it into into place a bit easier so just dip that in your water you don't need to put it in there for very long just so it sort of soaks it a bit and then you bring it back over to your module and um, try not to do what I did there is fold it over so try and keep it all nice and uh, just put it down first piece down now if it doesn't want to stick down sort of on the end where the timber parts are and just wet your finger in the water and just smooth over the top and it'll, it'll help it stick a bit better so if you find if it's a bit dry because the timber does soak up the water a little bit so you just keep on doing this just cutting pieces off soaking them and putting them down until you've done the whole landscape so it's pretty simple So I've now completed putting on all the plaster cloth. I've basically done two layers. And I've done the little bit at the back there as well. So that's all looking rather good. Now if you've got any little gaps down the side or anything, particularly near the bridge, you can always just put bushes or, or some sort of landscaping material in there to hide those. That's not an issue. So uh, And just make sure, of course, that um, you clean off the any plaster you've got on the viaduct kit it's easier to clean it now than uh, later on so that's sort of what it looks like in profile looking pretty good actually and uh, yeah the other thing don't forget to do is to clean the sides of your module because um, yeah if you get plaster all over that it's it's easier if you just uh, clean it now when it's all sort of wet and everything so just clean it up make a nice neat job of it so that's basically it, a bit of newspaper and some plaster cloth and water and you've got a nice looking landscape.
thanks for watching. This is Wimble Train saying I really appreciate you watching all my videos. So we'll see you next time.